Yeah, hi everyone. Just uh, just want to do a little video just to show you the uh, the waterways that we built here at the mini uh, mini golf at Maruchi River. I uh, we built seven mini golf courses now. I think this is probably the best waterways that we've done. I think we've really lost that engineered look and uh, really got a lovely natural looking sort of water body running through the golf course. So this is our lower pond down here. They've uh, got a couple of uh, sort of a bit of a half built jetty there. A little sprinkler in there to, to aerate the water. Got some river rock on the bottom. Not only does it look fantastic, just the just the noise of the water trickling around looks uh, looks really cool. So we dug this little sort of creek that uh, probably only about a metre, metre and a half wide, and just sort of meanders through. We've got some plants, some uh, you know, some water plants spread out through there just for some really good effect. This place has now been open just about a year to the day and uh, it's amazing how much it's amazing how much the landscape has jumped up and established just in those first 12 months so it looked a little bit skinny on the ground at first but uh, but now it looks unreal so uh, I'm just going to come over here we've uh, sort of complemented the waterways with just really simple timber bridges. Hope you're picking up that noise on the video too. Really starting to thicken up some of these plants. And uh, against the, you know, the, the green synthetic grass, it, uh, it's just a lovely place to have a walk around. Not completely... Uh, completely at ease with that uh, sign there so uh, there'll be one eye on the video and one eye ahead of me as I walk yeah there's another little timber bridge so even as we design the course a lot of these a lot of these bridges are just effectively connecting bridges between golf holes um, and when we do end up playing a golf hole across the water body we just have to be very careful that the, the golf balls don't go in there. I think the last thing we want to do is see kids sort of messing around in the waterway and possibly slipping on some of the rocks. So uh, I'm just taking a bit of a, uh, a wide look up here. Looks like they put some fresh mulch in here as well, which is just livening it up. Simple tea signs. I think some real golf course could even learn by just keeping some of the signs very simple. This is actually a hole where we we do play across the bridge and um, you know we've seen we've just got to be very very clever with where we put our timber and some of our mounting just to just to keep the kids balls out of it. Because they might have even added a couple of a couple of plants in through here. Unfortunately I'm not going to be any good with the names. Wow some of those plants around that top pond are um, really, really sort of thriving now. I'm going to come around here to our uh, 17th, 17th hold. Being careful to keep one eye out for those snakes. Tony Foster and Co did a fantastic job building this little boardwalk along the edge here. So effectively, the water is pumped up from our lower pond down the bottom there into this little small cascade where they've added a fountain it then trickles uh, trickles over that little drop in the rock there to our lower pond and then it uh, down she goes through the through the rocky cascade and it's all recycled water just walking around here to the 18th you know it's even it's even starting to soften the appearance of the black sort of pool fencing along the side. You, you don't even notice the pool fencing, your, your eye just gets taken to the golf holes and the and the landscape around it. So this is our 18th hole, even though I've had a little connection point through there, you, you're pretty much playing the hole in this direction so uh, they really shouldn't be hitting too many balls in through there, but even if they do, there's uh, it's not going to be that hard to scoop the ball out. There are only 300 uh, mil deep of water in through there, so uh, there you have the uh, the water rays at 
Baruchi River.